this video that I'm making right now, I'm going to talk about the right way of um, filling up your radiator with the coolant and the right level. So what you do, you prop your car up like if you're doing a tire change. So like right now my car is propped up forward. And, and what you do, well I'm not going to open mine. Um, you start putting the coolant in here or the antifreeze and um, and you make sure all the air bubbles get come out so you just you just keep on filling it and fill, filling it until all the you'll start seeing the bubbles start coming out popping pop, pop, coming out and then it's just to make sure from the block all the air bubbles come up from the radiator all the air bubbles come up and, and come out of the the engine and the radiator and is to prevent your car from overheating random random overheating um in the future because what happened to me and i'm just like, explaining my story is it's um my car started overheating randomly when i was at a complete stop for five minutes or less until I stepped on the gas, my car will go, will cool down. So the the the, the um, temperature gauge will just move, or it'll it'll move a little to the hot, then it'll, it'll move back when I step on the gas. So pretty much, when it's a hot day, um, it, it'll be okay. But if I had the AC on, it'll go a little hot. Then, I'll, then when I, when I when when I'm at a stop, and then when I step on the gas, ready to go, it will just go back to normal temperature. So what I did, and what I thought it was, this is what I did. I changed out the, um, I changed out the the um water pump, the water pump, and um, on my other video, on my on my therm uh, my thermostat cover. I had a hole in it because all this um, wear and tear of um, o um, this overheating and um, I changed the thermostat and um, I changed the fan clutch I changed the um, what else did I do? I changed the fan clutch and I put coolant and and after all that my car was still overheating and the reason that it was overheating because I never filled up my coolant pro properly and the right way of full, uh, filling up the coolant is lip, um, is um, putting your car lifting up your, your car and and getting all the air bubbles out so I think what was causing that overheating was the air bubbles and the other thing that it helped me out when I changed the fan clutch um, was um, if you have if you ever um have any ac problems um like just say like when you're driving and you have the ac on and then when you're at a stop the ac instead of it blowing cold air it, it, it blows warm air it, it blows warm air until you step on the gas and keep and keep on going then it'll start blowing hot uh, cold air again so the only time um it'll blow on hot air is when you come to like a a, a stop or idling or something well my fan clutch fixed that problem because it throws more air um, through the radiator and through the um, uh, I don't know the name of it the condenser for the for the um, AC so it's keeping it more cool so now I could be idling all I want and have the AC blowing air cold air all the time so I solved two problems, my car overheating and, and the AC problem. So just remember, no, um, if you think, because all this, all this time, I thought my, my water was my coolant or, or um, my um, antifreeze. I thought it, um, it was correctly filled, but it wasn't. It was showing that it was, but it really wasn't until I propped up my car and got the air bubbles out and that fixed all the problems and um, the other problem that that it will help you out on on the power steering 
It'll, it'll keep your power steering coolant cool. It'll keep your transmission cool. So, so this this thing is a big issue, and I recommend everybody check check their um, water temper not water temperature water level. Make sure it's correctly filled, or else you're gonna have future problems. And the the worst thing that could ever happen to you is blowing a head gasket. So all this time I thought my car was running at normal temperature, but it really wasn't. My and, and the other thing that I that I knew that it wasn't well, because when when I'll come at a complete stop or have my car parked at a car uh, in my carport, all all I'll be hearing is ticking sounds, tick 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 ticking sounds from this this motor being hot overrun not correctly filled with coolant and um so it'll save you so it'll save you um lots of time and money in the future it'll save you it'll, it'll keep your engine uh last longer your transmission your, your transmission lasts longer your rack companion to last longer your 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 ac compressor to last longer so all this, all this um, comes all to one one thing. If you want your car to run nice and smooth, check your coolant level. Make sure it's filled correctly. Cause all these years I had this car, I thought my coolant was filled correctly, but it wasn't. So I I hope this video helped. So please subscribe, give it thumbs up. And this video is just on tips and tricks, okay? Thank you for watching.